Hi, everybody. Back here on Sports Locker Sunday. Time to talk a little IndyCar with uh, the defending Indy 500 winner, Marcus Erickson, who joins us here getting ready for the upcoming season, man, 2023. But first things first, how much has your life changed knowing that you are the Indy 500 winner and you've held this all the way until coming up this May, and who knows, maybe repeat it again as well. Yeah, it's, it's definitely been a change to, in my life. Uh, people tell me it's going to be a before and after winning the 500, and it's, it has been like that. You know, it's been different here in the States, in the paddock, at the Speedway. You know, it's just a different thing being the champion, being the winner of the 500. But even at home in Sweden, you know, it's been huge, to, you know, the coverage around the 500. Uh, for me, coming home to Sweden, being part of so many things there and, and celebrations and TV shows and all kinds of things. So it's been it's been big, and uh, I'm I'm very proud to be part of that club. How much fun are you having getting a chance to do all these events and speaking to folks and traveling around the country? How great has it been? Yeah, it's been amazing. It's been a very busy off season for me, but busy in a very good way. So it's been you know a lot of things that I've got to experience that uh, has been super cool and stuff that I will always remember. So yeah, uh, can't wait to get to May and try and do it again. Yeah, I remember talking to you for the for the Colts game when they had a football game against the Steelers. We talked to you on the field, and you had a chance as well to get things going for the football team against the Steelers there. Um, what has that been like for you getting a chance to go to that Colts game and hang out there with, with the team and also with the fans? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not taking responsibility for Colts season here. You know, <laughs> I, I, I know they're struggling a little bit, but it was still an amazing experience for me to go there to the game. And, uh, yeah, it's, it, you know, I'm... I'm not a big football fan, but that was an amazing experience and such a cool uh, moment for me to be there on the pitch. We saw what happened last year, winning the Indy 500, also coming close to winning the points title as well, finishing the top 10. As you gear up for this season, how much momentum do you take from last year as you prepare for this upcoming year? I take a lot of momentum from last year, you know, being the 500 champion and like you said, fighting for a championship all the way to the, to the last race. I think that showed that I can be right up there and, and fight with the best in this series. So uh, I bring that confidence with me into this year. I know I've worked hard in the off season to improve and become better this year. So I can't wait to go out there and try and try and win that championship. Yeah. When you look back to last season and talking to a lot of the drivers as well, it's, it's so competitive. I mean, this year, I mean, you look at far as, far as the full-time drivers, highest we've seen in, in years. And I see a smile on your face. I mean, you, you welcome this, right? Yeah, I love it. You know, the competition in IndyCar is the best in the world. You know, you don't find a racing series with that level of competition with drivers, teams. You know, even breaking in the top ten now is going to be hard because it's like, the depth of the field is just incredible. So I love that, and, and I love the fact that you can win one weekend and be P20 the next weekend yeah. Yeah. just because you, you miss a little bit in the driving, in the setup. So that level of competition, I think, is very unique with IndyCar and, and something we should be really, really excited about. Yeah. Your first race of the year down there in Florida, St. Pete, you guys go racing on the street course. How cool is that? I love it. St. Pete is always a highlight. It's always, you know, when it's the first race of the year, it's something in the air there. Everyone is so excited to get the season started. But also, like, the track there on the streets of St. Pete is really fun, really challenging, and there's always a good atmosphere there with a lot of fans. So can't wait to get there and get the season going. Yeah, We've been asking drivers this as far as, you know, the moments when they think about the Indy 500. Of course, the folks back there in Indianapolis, they gear up for this month, the entire month. As a driver, what's it like for you as you get ready to enter into IMS and get ready for a busy month? It's always magical going into the, you know, in, into the circuit of the or the speedway. You know, it's always something about that that uh, is hard to describe. And I think for me this year, doing it as a, you know, current champion, it's going to be even more special, of course. So... You know, it is our highlight of the year. There's no doubt about that. The whole month of May is just so much fun and so intense. And, uh, yeah, I just can't wait to get to, get to May. Talking to, to some of the drivers about their teammates, I think of you and just Scott Dixon, a guy who's won this series six times. So what has it been like for you to have a guy who – um, who, who's, who, who's had success time and time again in open world racing on, on your team to support you? It's been great for me to learn from Scott, you know, and be a teammate with him. He's such a, you know, I think one, if not the best driver ever in IndyCar racing. And to be teammate with him and, and you know, get to know him and learn from him, it's, it's definitely helped me uh, in very, very many ways. So 
I'm very, you know, lucky to have him as my teammate. But also, you know, we have Palu and this new guy, Marcus Armstrong, which seems to be a very good uh, driver from, coming from New Zealand. And then Takuma Sato joining the team for this 500. So we really have a strong lineup this year, which is really good for us. All right, two more questions before I let you get out of here. What's the coolest thing you had a chance to do by being the, the champion of the Indy 500, the winner? Oh, it's hard to pick. Uh, like, it's been so many cool things. Uh, but I think for me, bringing the Borg Warner Trophy back home to my hometown of Kumla in Sweden, getting it out there on the city square and seeing the whole city of Kumla coming out to celebrate my win, uh, just it's just special, you know, being at home and, and celebrate that. It was just so special. So that's something for me that's very, very much sticks out. Marcus Erickson, a very real threat to win the Indy 500 again this year. And that race is, of course, coming up on May 28th. Remember, Wish TV is your home to 100 Days to Indy. The six-part series gives you a behind-the-scenes look in IndyCar leading up to the Indy 500. It all premieres on April 27th at 9 o'clock right here on Wish TV. The month of May will be here before we know it. 